Hi, everyone. I believe we are live. It's Thursday, August 9th, and we're going to do some fluid art today. I really like to tell everyone thank you. I really appreciate all your viewing, all your sharing. Last week's project with the record album and the clock has received 2,400 views and I really appreciate that. It is really helping the name Magic Mix get out there and be known. And that is what my goal is, and I appreciate your help in me reaching my goal. Speaking of which, the record and the clock, I didn't like the way it dried out. In fact, I'll get it for you so you can take a look at it. So here's, this was our last pour, and I'm really not that happy with it. Um, a lot of the white design was all mixed together, and so I went in and painted a little bit of the blue in between, and it just doesn't, it's not rocking my boat. It's not rocking my clock. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is do another pour over it. Same colors. That's the beauty of fluid art. You don't like it, you can paint over it. So that's the story on that. And today, I thought I would try something that I've not tried before. And I've seen it done on line YouTube through various artists and I thought, hmm, it always turns out so pretty, so I think I'm gonna try it. We'll either make a big mess or it'll be something really pretty. And it's some um, angel wings. And there's a couple of different methods that you can do to create this. And the one that I'm gonna try is a simple pour, but I'm going to use, most of them are done on a white background or a black background. And I'm going to try something a little bit different and go with a blue background. Hi, Sherry. Thanks for chiming in today. So we're going to go with a blue background. Hopefully it will kind of like represent the sky. And the colors that I'm using for the sky is Artist Law Cerulean Blue. It's a gorgeous color. Now we might cover it all up, we might not. I don't know yet. The um, other colors that I've chosen to make the wings, this is, I picked this up at Lowe's. It's a Rust-Oleum product metallic pearl and I'm going to use this instead of the white it has a beautiful metallic color to it the pearl color and I'm going to use Inca gold it's a metallic and what I've done with the metallics is I've added some of the glitter this is a folk art extreme glitter I've not done this before, mixing the glitter in with the metallics, but I like the look at it. I like the shimmer and the extra little gold dust sparkles in here. It makes it look real pretty. So we have gold and we have silver. This is a folk art metallic sterling silver. To the silver, I added Craft Twinkies Glitter. This is a beautiful silver glittering. Just mixes right in. Here we have our silver. And to add a little bit of color, I'm using a metallic ice blue. This is also from Folk Art Metallic. All of these can be picked up at your local big box store. And the Folk Art Extreme Glitter Blue is mixed in with that. 
The only one that I've not been able to find at Walmart is this Deco Art Twinkles. It is available though at Joann's. Hi, hi Rose, good to see you. You say you can't hear me? Hmm. Sherry, can you hear me? Well, this is not good if y'all can't hear me. Hmm. Wonder what's going on here. I'm going to call you, Sherry. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh -huh, I can hear you just fine. On the computer? Yeah. Okay. Rose says she can't hear me. Yeah, I just answered you. I guess it's taken a few minutes, but you're fine. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, all right, Rose, I'm sorry, honey. Um, so let's get started. Now that I know that the audio on this end is okay, and Rose, I hope you're able to get that fixed soon. Um, here's our blue. We're going to put this all over the canvas. And I didn't put any silicone in these. It only has the paint and the flow trawl for our added extra working time. Hi, Mandy. Thanks for chiming in today. We're going to do a set of angel wings, crossing my fingers, right? So. We have a 10 by 20 canvas, push pins already in place. We'll move these little cups and I'm going to pour this all over the canvas. It's a beautiful color blue. Our grandchildren were here last week, left Tuesday. My son was here at the same time, just by coincidence, and um, my granddaughter, she loves to get into this paint. They both do. We had a really good time. We did a lot of painting, but this is her favorite color, the cerulean blue. She just loved it. So I thought we would play around with it today. And it's a good color. It shows up on the computer really pretty, too. So like I said, hopefully this blue will be like representing the sky. And I've not done this before. I've only seen it done. So we're going to learn together on this one. Hope everybody's doing well. It's almost time for school to start in some areas. Everybody be safe driving. Watch out for those babies. Remember, they have getting to school on their mind. They do not have safety on their mind all the time. They're young, excited. It's hard to keep your mind on things when you're excited about starting a new venture. Okay, I'm going to turn this around and do this side. I'm going to 
going to put the screen down in a few minutes so you'll be able to watch this. Got a few more people coming in. Thank you. Hi, Susan. Hi, Ronnie. Thanks for chiming in today. If it doesn't end up looking like angel wings, it might end up looking like a tree ring. They're both basically about the same technique, only the angel wings separate in the middle. And if I pour the paint correctly in the cup, it should come out correctly and make wings. So now make sure I've got a few bubbles going on here. All right, I'm going to move the camera down. There we go. And we're going to start mixing our paint. I have the coffee pot. You can use, this is like a four cup coffee pot. You can use a large paper cup, but what's important is this little spout here. This is what you're going to need. And I'm out of cups. In fact, I had to use a surf cup to mix a big blue one. But anyway, think about the color, the colors that you want coming out of your cup. And I want the white to be the last color to come out of the pour. So it's important that that's going to be the first color to go in. I know it sounds weird, doesn't it? But it's just the opposite. Okay. And you want to tilt it. And I'm not going to pour all of it in there because I'm going to layer it. So each one of these little cups is a five ounce cup. And I've got approximately three to four ounces in each cup. So here's the gold. I'm just going to let it slide down the side of it. Pouring about half of it in. Stop. We're going to go for the silver. No, I think let's do the blue next. This is um, this is ice blue metallic. It's a very pretty shimmery blue, pastel blue, and it has some blue glitter in it. So that ought to be really interesting. Okay, I'm going to pour this on the side. About half. Now we'll go for the silver. And then I'm going to start over again. This might be too much paint, but that's okay. I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. You can always do another little project with it.
Okay. I'm not going to do any stirring. And hmm, I want to tilt this up, this canvas there. Got ahead of myself. Hopefully that'll be enough tilting. If not, I can manually tilt it. Make sure y'all can see this. All right, there's no silicone. So any cell action that we get is gonna be from the flow trawl. And I'm gonna start at the top and slowly pour this out. I think maybe I thin the paint too much. Yeah, we have a little bit too much paint, but that's okay. We're starting to get down to the second layer. So the flow trawl that I use to thin the paint down with to make it workable fluid. I added 50-50 because it was craft paint and I can see right now that I should have maybe used one part Floetrol to two parts paint because this is really too thin. And it's not dividing like it should but we haven't gotten to any of the white yet the white the pearl So we do have a little bit of dividing line here and I'm going to try to separate it a little bit. I wish I had something to prop that up on. There. Okay. Let it get back to the middle. And I'll pull it this way. We may not have a pair of angel wings after all it might end up being 
more of a tree ring. So I have a little bit more left in the pot. I think I'm going to pour it out in, onto the canvas and see what we get. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Okay, here goes. It's just paint, right? You don't know what's going to work until you try it. So this has given us more of a defined middle. Not sure if you can see that. What I would like to do is stretch it out from side to side. And hopefully bring it to the middle. The thing about this is you've got to be slow. Okay, we're going to bring the paint back to the middle. I'm just really getting into this stuff today, aren't I? I'm going to have it all over me. We're going to bring the design back to the middle. I don't want to do it too fast. We've got some good angel wing markings down here at the top. Just slowly getting there. What I would like to do, achieve, is to bring this to the other side and then we'll balance it back out to the middle again. But I can see the gold has overtaken 
the silver a lot. And we'll cup this. Okay. Now we just got to bring it back to the middle. And hopefully we don't lose our design in the middle. If you liked finger painting as a child, you'll really enjoy this. <laughs> I'm moving the chair, getting more paper towels. Come on, baby, come back to the middle. Come on back to the middle. She's moving, she's getting there. There is some cell action going on, and that's strictly from the flow trawl. Okay, we're about in the middle there. And I'm gonna take some of this paint that's spilled, scoop it up, and just pour it. Now we'll bring it down. Hopefully it'll straighten it all out. I'd really like for this center to be straightened out a little bit more. But I don't think that's too half bad for the first time doing a set of angel wings. I'm fixing to turn this around so y'all can see. Okay. Not too bad. And here you go. So I don't want to lose, I don't want that tip to go over. So I'm going to bring it back down. But you see that the little curve here of your colors. There we go. This here is supposed to be the wing, that little curvature. Hi, Shelly. Sorry, I haven't looked up in the last few minutes. But here we go. This is my first official angel wing, and I don't think it turned out too bad. Hi, Roseanne. I'm going to turn it back this way so y'all can get a good look at it. So maybe the next one I will not use as much gold, although, I don't know, I'm going to let it dry. The um, glitter paint that I added to the other paint metallic colors does make the, 
paint look kind of opaque. So the true colors are not here. We'll see that when it dries. And I can see a little bit of the shimmering of the metallic glitter in there. So this may end up being really beautiful once it dries. We'll just have to wait and see. But again, I really appreciate everybody watching, spreading the word about Magic Mix. If you'd like to be a member of Magic Mix, please find us on Facebook under group Magic Mix. It is a closed group, but it's very easy to get in. All you have to do is knock on the door and we'll let you in. You will um, see weekly craft and fluid art shows. We have drawings and also jewelry. Thank you, everybody. Oh, one more thing, redbubble.com. If you are interested in getting any of the artwork that I've put on, they are having a 25% off sale for all wall art. So if you want a picture of that mermaid or the leaves, you can get 25% um, off of it today. And I'm going to have to figure out how I can turn this computer off with paint all over my hands. But I really appreciate it and um, hope to see you folks again. And bye for now. Have some fun. Get some paint on you. It washes off. <laughs> this picture if it turns out pretty enough might just go to my granddaughter Emma and then we'll have to do some for the other grandchildren Bye for now, everybody. Hugs. Hugs to everybody.